So, um, you can make some mashed potatoes. So this is all I need for now, just a pot that's gonna have water in it, and I'm gonna make two potatoes, but that makes a lot if I was just making for one person, I'd just make one. All right, so if you've kept up with me, we now have water boiling. And if you're wondering where to fill it to, just fill it to like the, those things right there, or just below that, and that'll be plenty. And we've also washed our potatoes, and what we're going to do is slice the potatoes up, because they will boil faster and you to make mashed potatoes you need to boil the potatoes. So yeah, let's do that right now. Alright, clearly boiling. Let's put the potatoes in it. One potato, two potato. Ow! Oh, it splatters. Watch out for that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that in there. If it sounds a bit like it's boiling out of control, it probably is, especially when your whole stove is shaking. If you hear a slight squelching, you probably have the water on too high. Let's turn it down. Okay, look at that, that is boiling. Okay, um, put it down to eight. It's been about almost 20 minutes. Let's check the potatoes, because I think they're done. You will need a fork. Okay, they're definitely done. They should have a few floating when they're done. Now we're going to take them out, which I'll just show you how I do that. Turn off the stove, that is fairly important. And when it's too hot to hold, just do this. to not pour out any potatoes. Okay, so now they're out, and what we have to do is put it in a bowl to mash it all up. Not gonna lie, it's helpful if you have a, this is a masher sort of thing, but if you don't, you can use a fork or a whisk or something. Here are the potatoes, let us mash them. When you kind of hit a wall mashing, then you want to add your stuff in there. Non-vegan people use butter, vegan people use vegan butter, or I'm actually gonna use coconut oil, because it's good for you and I um, just want to use it right now. Any sort of oil will work. Um, yeah, let's go put that in. As far as how much to put in, I mean, that's just kind of like you gotta know. I mean, I'm part Irish, so I assume that's just how I know. That's a lot. But yeah, just play it by ear. You can also, which I'm also gonna do, put some milk in it. I'm putting almond milk in it. Soy milk would work, coconut milk would work, rice milk would work, whatever you want to do. Cooking's pretty easy because you can fix it at any point, like if I messed up, I could, I would know when I could do something. When you bake, I mean, once it goes in the oven, it's just kind of a free-for-all and you gotta hope you did a good job. So that's why we're starting off with a really easy recipe, just mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put some peas in it though, because they're healthy. Peas time. Here they are, they're in a bowl. And I'm going to put them in there because I'm just being a little lazy right now. And you know what, that's real life. Sometimes we don't fucking fancy cook everything. So these are frozen and to defrost them, I'm just pouring some water in there. And they're going in the microwave for like five minutes, maybe. Oh, get clean. The peas are in and that's all I'm gonna put in because I don't want to overwhelm with peas. Time for garlic, except I'm still getting permission to use the garlic from my roommate, so it'll be a minute. All right, garlic time. So I'm just using one clove. Uh, that's all you really need. You could use the chopped garlic, sure. I don't think it has the same amount of flavor though. And you have to peel it, which can get a little bit confusing once you get the hang of it. It's kind of like peeling an onion. Okay, I should mention you don't need all these ingredients. You can just make the potatoes alone and stop there. I've done that sometimes, so your, your potatoes could be completely done by now. 
That wasn't too hard. So now, if you're lucky, you have something that looks like this. You don't really know what it is, maybe, but it's a garlic press. And what you do is you put this little garlicky guy in there. Oof. And you do a bad job pressing it. See? Mm -hmm. That is what the garlic press does. Okay, now you gotta stir it up because that is like all garlic in one spot and you don't want that. So remember earlier when I said that cooking is so easy because if you make a mistake, you can fix it. Unlike baking, this is me practicing what I preach. Definitely put too much garlic in there, so I'm adding another potato, which will like diffuse the amount of garlic, and I'll just get more to eat. But I'm done. That is my mashed potatoes. It's pretty big. Anyways. It's gonna remain in that bowl because I'm not serving it for like an hour. Oh, I'm not gonna put a link. I'll put the recipe below. And I'll put everything that you need in it. And hopefully you can try it.